so from our position, from stirrup position, we put those under the V, we do the same setup. Only I'm staying in this position. Okay? So when I pass the lapel from my left to my right, again, comes our detail on the grip. Okay, I'm gonna have a palm down grip and I have like a baseball bat grip controlling the back of Carl's knee. I want my knee on the inside. And even if Carl's standing, I can put my left foot under his armpit and drive to get him in this position here. So I'm taking him at this angle, he's no base. So from here, my left foot will just corral his arm. Good, and then I'm just gonna take him over again. I can come to reverse the young belly. But from here, we're just gonna play with the knee bar. So my left hand is going to find the arm. When I fall on my side, I'm bringing my other foot in. So my, my ankles are curled at the far hip, 90 degree bend at the back of my knees, 90 degree bend at my hips. I have Carl's instep on my left shoulder. My head's driving down. I can let go of the lapel now and get my model A on grip. So right hand finds the heel, head driving down, right hand pulling up, left hand on the bicep, and now from just there, I can just extend. Again. So from the stirrup position, I go for the foot under off balance, but I stay inverted so I'm here. Pass the lapel back, make that baseball bat grip the back of the knee, and again I'm trying to bring him towards me and bring him to his knees. Okay, so we're going to go for this inversion sweep. So my foot, the only base card has, he's no base with his left leg. And I'm keeping his knee in my gut, and my knee's in the inside as a lever. I just pass this down, and once I remove that, I'm just taking them over. Again, reverse knee on valleys there, sake of the drill, as I step through, the lapels are good to me now. I'm bringing my other foot in. Again, there's different ways you can finish from here. I like that version of heels curled at the far hip. Instep, rule of thumb, I want this instep on my shoulder, so when I make my model a on grip, my head's pushing down the toes, my right hand's pulling up on the heel, 90 degree bend at the back of my knee and at my hips, and then I'm just extending. Sometimes you make posture from that position. So from the stirrup position here, when I spin under, then I stay in that inverted position, squid guard, and I pass the lapel back again. Detail of my palm is up this time. So sometimes if he postures, I can't bring him down. Lay straight up now, and I wanted him um, his hands on the mat. So from there, the detail of keeping my right foot on the outside of his hip, and my right knee is inside. I'm just going to lift my hips in the air and come up onto my shoulders. And now I just start to turn and take him over again. So the second I, I have him over, this other foot's coming in, so I'm curling at the far hip. I can echo with this. His foot was on my right shoulder. I, I, there's a better bite if I take it to my other side. So now I can push down with my head, pull up with my hand, get my rear naked grip choke, or grip, and then I just curl. But I want his knee basically in my gut. Again. So whether you take him on the way to the knees or he stays postured, so again, foot. Under up balance, make him take that step. I'm staying in this position when I pass the lapel from my left to my right, trying to get Carl down, but now he postures. So as long as my right knee's in the middle and my right foot is to the outside of his left hip, I'm just coming up on my shoulders. And now I just come on the knee. So again, straight into my knee bar. Sorry. So feet, feet curved as far as hip, 90 degree bend here. 90 degree bend here, and step on my left shoulder, pushing down with my head, right hand on the heel, model A on grip, and then I can just 